From the soldiers of yesterday to the men who are today maintaining the proud traditions of the British Army. And famous all over the world is that elite corps whose name has become synonymous with the colourful splendour of traditional pageantry, the household cavalry. And to find some of the reasons that make them incomparable on the parade ground, we take a look behind the scenes at Knightsbridge Barracks. One of the men whose job it is to make the guards look smart is the tailor. And Squadron Quartermaster Corporal Ball has his work cut out in both senses of the word. Fitting uniforms for the two regiments, lifeguards and royal horse guards, who together make up the household cavalry, he can be thankful that the physical requirements of a trooper at least rule out the awkward size. By the way, the braid, fitted to the uniforms later, is made of silver wire dipped in gold. Another important cog in this wheel of efficiency is the armourer, Corporal Major Hewson, who might have to repair anything from a faulty bit to a dented helmet. In case you're wondering how these solid-looking helmets ever get damaged, we can tell you the guilty party is usually a horse that may have trodden on one. In this atomic age, when most military training is conducted with a view to modern warfare, scenes like this are reminiscent of the 17th century, when the two regiments were founded. The stores, an ordinary name for an extraordinary department, for each man's equipment is worth about 150 pounds. And when you see them in action at Whitehall, in the changing of the guard ceremony, it's not difficult to see why.